and we are now heading towards an undocking later this evening. We're expecting the hatch to get closed within the next 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, it will take a little bit of time as the crew does, again, get ready to, to load inside of Dragon. Uh, throughout the morning, they've been installing some of the final cargo on board. And there we go, inside node two, looking at the hatchway. We can see all four of our crew members actually suited up and ready to go. You can see Anna Kikna on the left. And then that's ja Josh Cassidy, Nicole Mann. And then can't see him now, but Koichi Wakata there off to the right. And we've got a total of 11 people on board the space station right now. You've got three Russian cosmonauts, Sergei Prokopiev, Dmitry Patelin, and Andrei Fedeyev, uh, along with the recently arrived Crew-6 astronauts, Steve Bowen and Woody Hoberg and Sultan Alniadi, uh, along with Andre. Um, and so packed house on board. It's been like that ever since Crew-6 arrived. Uh, we're about to go from 11 back down to 7 once Crew-5 departs, 7. Uh, generally, our steady state crew size on board the space station. Uh, we see Anna Kikina starting to make her way across. And so again, this is inside No. 2. They're going now through the hatchway, uh, and they're going to go down through what's called the pressurized mating adapter, uh, and then out into uh, the Dragon spacecraft itself. And again, there's, there's going to be two hatches uh, that we'll see. The, uh, getting engaged here. Uh, there's one on the Dragon itself, and then there's one on the station side inside of that international docking adapter. That's called the A-pass hatch. Uh, they'll affix a docking target to that on the station side uh, and then get that one closed. And that'll essentially create a space between station uh, and Dragon that we call the vestibule. And before they dock, that's just exposed to the vacuum of space. Uh, but before we undock, we have to bring that back down to a vacuum, and so we're going to go through uh, what's called vestibule depressurization. They'll actually open up a valve on the Dragon hatch side uh, that's going to allow the air that's currently in there to escape overboard and just get vented. It's a small amount uh, of atmosphere that just gets vented out into the vacuum of space, and so uh, you bring that vestibule down to uh, essentially vacuum, um, so you're not having uh, any forceful release of, of atmosphere, of gas, uh, once you break the seal between the two hatches, uh, and then once that vestibule is fully depressurized, we'll be getting close uh, to the actual undocking. We made an earlier call to SpaceX that the forward hatch is closed. Not sure if you guys copied that. And Dragon, we did not copy that, um, but we copy it now. Dragon Endurance hatch is closed. Uh, we've got a command to send here, and you should see the flight computer state progress to hatch closed uh, imminently. Okay, we'll stand by for that, and then we'll check the PPR, the ISO valve, and just a heads up, it seems like we were out of calm there for probably two minutes or so. Okay, copy, yeah, two to three minute, uh, unexpected loss of calm, and, and that was unexpected, we copy. Dragon copy. All right, and from that conversation right there, we heard confirmation that the Dragon Endurance hatch is closed. So that hatch closed coming right at about 11.29 p.m. Central Time, 12.29 p.m. Eastern. 